Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. And in this one, the first video of the year, I thought we'd take a look at this Sonic Screwdriver right here, the one in front of us, obviously, which is a replica of the fourth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, Mr. Tom Baker, which is used in the classic series of Doctor Who. Now this replica is made by Russ from RB Replicas. But yeah, I have quite a few Sonic screwdrivers from Russ now, and this is one of a few that I got uh, last year. So we're finally getting around to taking a look at that now, after I've just finished polishing it, which is why it looks all nice and shiny. So I thought, let's make a video. Um, it has actually appeared on the channel before, a few months back, with the Scarecrow Props Romana Sonic Screwdriver replica. So uh, go and check that out if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, I thought let's give it a video of its own since I just made it all nice and uh, shiny. So here it is sitting on a wand company stand, which we'll just uh, pop over here and take a look at the screwdriver itself. So here it is. Let's give it a quick look over. Have it looking all nice and shiny. And now I'm getting my fingerprints all over it but that's all good that's all good so let's take a look we'll start off at the bottom as you can see it's got a nice little screw in there which is uh well you could call it a grub screw i guess nice little grub screw in there and then there's a nice milled line going all the way around which has been uh, painted black just the same as the lines here on the handle section. It's been painted black by Russ. It's a very nice. Moving on to this part of the handle here, where you can see the cut in the handle. And if you look in there, you can see the internal rod, which holds the screwdriver together, as well as the spring the spring loaded mechanism yeah you can see all that in there which you couldn't actually see on Russ's earlier screwdrivers because um, he, he did it about halfway down he had about a shelf shelf halfway down um, so it only went to about here uh, but that left space for electronics which was handy if you wanted to add electronics however for this one I'm fine with not having electronics because, well, it's the classic series, they didn't have electronics inside or anything like that, so it's more accurate, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, moving on to the upper part of the screwdriver, you can see the activation ring, if you want to call it that. It's all nice and shiny. And on here to the top of the aluminium section, you can see the nice. A uh, little hole, a little dot, which has been replicated really nicely. And then we get to the top of the aluminium rod. You can see this bit's been painted black, uh, kind of a matte black. On the earlier screwdrivers Russ made, it was kind of a glossy black. So it's nice to see the matte black. It doesn't stand out as much, so it's nice to see it matte now. Um, Moving on to the emitter, which is very nice. Uh, it's not brass, it's made of aluminium, same as a screwdriver. It's got a nice anodized red paint to it, metallic red. So uh, it's not, not really accurate, but it does look great. You can see the bullet, which is uh, a very big improvement, I'd say, compared to his earlier releases. It's very nice and pointy now, so I think, well, that's what made me buy it, really. You know, as soon as I seen that bullet, I was like, oh yeah, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> um, you can see the back of the emitter here, where it's the, what we'll call it the magnet section, even though it's not a real magnet, but I suppose it was on the real prop, but here it's just, you know, aluminium. Really nice, you can see the screw in there just about <laughs> and yeah so it's all held together by the 
internal rod and screw threaded in here so you can unscrew the emitter, which I'm not gonna do right now because it could take some time. And we're just here to look at it really. But I think it's a really nice screwdriver and we'll just bring in uh, this custom that I have. It has appeared on the channel before. So this is a earlier war, uh, an earlier version of uh, Russ's screwdrivers. You can see the bullet here, which is what I was talking about a minute ago. How it's a lot pointier on new ones, which is a lot more accurate. Um, see this one before, it never really bothered me. Uh, I thought it looked okay, I mean it's not great, but it looked okay. And, and then I seen this one and I was like, ah yeah, it puts this one to shame really. But uh, this is a custom, so this one kind of gets away with it. Um, but also, you can see the this bit's a lot more glossy, the black section. Whereas on here, it's a bit more matte. And you can also see the spring, how far down this one goes, compared to the older release, which is, that's about as far as it goes. It's not very far down, really. And that's because there's a big space in this handle here. Notice how you can't see the internal rod and spring. That's because on the custom, on the older versions, sorry, but on this custom, it is uh, an older version. So it's got that big space in there left for electronics, which is great if you want to add sound. Um, However, I am not really bothered about sound, so it would have been nicer to have it go down all the way. But like I say, it's a custom, so this one kind of gets away with it. So I'm just going to sleep out there. So the new one, like I say, goes all the way down, which is great. Uh, it would be cool if this did extend up as well, but uh, you can't get everything. But for what it is and the price that I paid for it, it's. Uh, it's great. Um, so yeah, I got a few of them at the same time. There's that one that isn't polished, but again, it has the nice pointy bullet. And when you compare it to, for instance, the toy, you know, there's no, there's no comparison really. It's just great. You know, plastic or metal. You know, you, you're gonna go for metal, aren't you? Yes, it doesn't have sound, but sound isn't everything, guys, you know. No, it's got sound now, look. No, I'm joking, it's just this. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's great. Lots of fourth doctor screwdrivers. And yes, I've got a few more. And uh, you may see a third doctor's or a fifth doctor's pop up. But uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see. But there you go. That's it for now, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.